Probably didn't need that actually. Oh well. Transform A bomb or riots? It's not his time. I took transform A bomb to uh to Viscount. Granted, I hit manacles the first two turns, but then I transform for the last one. Okay. You down for right? No, please. Chat is a mistake. It's a mistake to have a chat room. Y'all are communicating. And you're infecting each other with good ideas. I mean bad ideas. <laughs> like like rioting in my chat. What do you think will happen in DD2 lore-wise? We'll continue the story or kind of branch off. I'm hoping... Oh, I should have opened that. Whatever. I'm hoping the lore... Like, breaks the time loop. And then we'll see what happens from there. My count rematch was so funny, he just died like a chump. He did. Cause he's a chump! Even though he killed my... My freaking Hellion. My last Hellion. He normally dies like a chump. True. Unless you play like complete... d d d dog shit. Unless you play like garbage. The match is struck. A blazing What's up, ghoul? Yeah. Good Hellion at that? Yeah, she was pretty good. It was very muy unforch. Okay. My bleed resist is mega down. But for some reason this didn't happen here. Alright, cool. Give me a sick ass exang. Let's stun him now. Ooh, good. It's strange with the time loop, hard to follow up on that from a writer's perspective. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm like... I have a hatred of time plots. Like, I usually just don't enjoy them in games. Or movies, just any, any medium. I don't like them. God damn! How do I keep resisting also? Holy crap. What is this game? It's just crit after crit. Infinity War? Yeah. As much as I like my Marvel. That's pretty bad. Is he dead? 23. He's f He's dead. I need someone's turn before this pig, please. That's it. The slow death. And this one too. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. You have faith in them to make it good. Ooh, rubies. You guess is they'll hand wave the time loop away. It was mostly there for the theme replayability. It's not a bad guess. Maybe it's just some alternate universe with the same characters. Steel Ball Run, is that you? They're not expecting to make DD2 at the time anyway. Yeah, it makes sense. Good son. Clown card, please? What? Oh, is that four jesters? I don't have four jesters yet, but we could try it. Infinity War was cool to... No brain, but if I cared about the plot, it'd be lame. Just can't think much movies sometimes. Just gotta enjoy them as... Or for what they are. Apex Predator crits. Apex Predator crits. Can't even say it. Are the worst. They are pretty effing terrifying. Resisted the pull? Where? Impressive. How did you resist that bleed? Maybe the loop breaks because the player... Lost at some point, now the corruption spreads. That'd be interesting. This flagellants flagellate A bomb. Clown car, Vestal, Jester times three. That seems so safe. Seems easier than. Maybe harder than Divina Comedia. The nice part of Divina Comedia is that 
anti is there and she can just go first or go very early and drop like a protect me or something. But then it's also safer because you just, you have Vessel. Kind of wish I had Grape Shot here. But I don't. Counter this man. Oh, what the hell? Butcher Cut. To rank 3, though. Imagine not doing the Butcher Pig special, which is just ball and chaining your fucking Vestal. Like, by outspeeding her. Full Team Jester sounds so funky, like conveyor belt of finales. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it do be like that. Is this thing dead? 10? Yeah. More bleed damage. I said more bleed damage, damn it. Fine. All blights. All jesters as fools rush in? Okay. That makes sense. One of my friends, whenever I... Or like, the first time I said, like, that makes sense to him, he says, No, it makes dollars. And I wanted to hit him. But it was... It's cheesy and funny enough that I use it to this day. I greatly enjoy it. I'm gonna use some Absolution. Do I just let it bleed out? Pun police will take you away. Get you mixed up, put you in horny jail. Success so clearly in Hold on. Or is it I was gonna read another comment, hold on. We got light. this. We have big monies. Okay, so it's time to get rid of these. It's time to get rid of these. Janky mod you might like, Blackguard, since he's designed like duelist around low light play. That sounds cool. Why does Blackheart sound familiar? I feel like Blackguard... It might be a name. I think there was a... I think it's from Neverwinter Nights. I think there was a Blackguard uh, prestige class. Which I know is totally random, but that, that's what it made me think of. There are many cool team names, but most of them I never use. And many team name Or teams I use have no names. Yeah, it's weird for the game having... 17 or 18 characters depending on how you look at it that like every combo just isn't a team that's the weird thing and there's some teams that are just like why the hell would you run this like uh there's one of them is like three arbalest and man at arms up front it's like, who the hell would ever do that? I have stress. Or ways to get rid of stress. The light gains purchase. Yeah. Spirits are lifted. And Give me the stuff. Clear. Big scary skeleton man at arms in a nutshell. It's a paladin thing for the culture thing. Name team comps have Our some small bonuses, would be nice in DD2. It'd be cool, but then it'd be like you just use name teams all the time. Like you'd have to It'd have to be like name team comps get a like specific bonus and then a generic team comp just gets like plus five accuracy or something like just some way to make it so you still want to use the the um the generic teams bumper crop from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity let's see Honestly, naming every single team of 17 heroes for each position is quite a larger task than you get credit for. True. A lot of math in there. Probably like a thousand different combinations. Probably more than that. Warrens and Wheel are easily the worst area. Yes. Imagine how many 
names there would be if they named every combination. Cove runes are safe. Cove has coral, which are good. Just need names for common teams instead of absurdities. Not bad either. <gasps> A Hellion. A Flage. Kind of a not good Hellion, but I need a Hellion. Desperately. Can I close this? Did I just crash my game? Okay. Thought I clicked that already. Let's do a boss. Let's do a boss. Oh, flesh. Give it to me. Four Lepers gets plus 50% damage and crit, but is capped at 50 accuracy? Oh god. That might still be too high. <laughs> He's still too high for for a Leper. The most cursed yet, somewhat viable team you can think of is from 1 to 4. Vestal P, Flash BH. Cursed, but somewhat viable. So they have like backline BH. I could see it. I think they definitely defaultly named Butcher Circus Save Teams would be fine for no name comps really. Flesh Heart, let's go. Yeah, we're probably going for it. Hydrate. P and Flash pair well with like any other two heroes. It's, it's hilarious. They're a good combo. Finally getting the heart. Yeah. Let's. Can almost run this team back, honestly, but I don't think we're going to. Probably gonna run this flash though. Oh, I got quick reflexes. I kind of want to lock that and take the other one. Thin-blooded is not good for this fight, but I don't want to lose those those reflexes. Okay, take this, we take our lone PD. I have one PD, which is pretty freaking scary. I'm gonna take a guard. I'm gonna take a man in arms. Cause I am too scared for this PD. Is it this? Yes! This is actually great. Okay. Could you use command almost? I don't think the flesh is that, uh... That evasive, though. <clears throat> think if they do such an idea, you think they it'll be best to if each hero brought their own buff and they'll buff it accordingly. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. If they're a nameless comp, but if they make a special comp, they get a special bonus. Okay, I like that idea. When the occultist is often better in position three because he can stab. I thought about occultist with this team because you get um. You can cleave too. So you can just go like hyper aggro and uh, use artillery. Town is spazzing out, it seems. Flesh is always RNG. Like it's by far the most RNG boss. Yeah, it is. You have martyrs on Flash, Maws of Life. Can DD him on a bad day. Martyrs. I need to make sure that bleed sticks. I also have a guard. If I have a guard, why am I running defense? This goes here. If 
toss up, man. Let's build the rest of the team first, and we'll we'll think. I don't need like the map's nice. I don't think I need it. No, I want I want the stun amulet. That's way better. Yeah, it feels good. What's the hardest boss in this game besides maybe the final boss? Um. I would say Baron. I don't know. Maybe not. It's hard, because, like Nick said, it's like, once you know the gimmick, it's hard. Or it's not hard, but... I don't know. Like, sometimes you can just get really unlucky and a boss can just screw you. Oh, I have to think. Like, I want to say Baron or Countess... Then flesh is up there for sure. What else am I putting here? Stress down. Stun chance. Okay. Okay. My sound, like, I didn't have sound for a sec there. Let's just call this dude. This boss can do some stuff to us. Miller, when he decides to use the AoE three times in a row? Yeah, Miller sucks. Fanatic? Oh, dude, fanat it's Fanatic. It's Fanatic. I have bumper crop, that's why it's not making sound. Holy crap. Man, I just learned something. Why well, no Hound Master on this team? Cause I wanted a guard. Hound Master would be really good here though. Take all of it. All of it, all of it. Okay. Are we going? Hounds Harry value. Hopefully we have enough. The spasmodically squirming brain He's about snorting half corpses were heaped each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. The Warrens had become a landfill of snout and hoof, gristle and bone. A mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh fusing itself together in the darkness. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. 
an incoherent jumble yeah. of organ, sinew, and bone. Oh, good way to start. Guess we're on this way. Such blockages are unsurprising. Flesh can turn sketch real quick. The butthole crits you a couple times. The maws too. I always I feel like I have more trouble with the maws than I do with the uh, the buttholes, but who knows? Who knows? Bone pillar is a curio that we would like. I forgot to switch vessels. It's fine. If we get a bone pillar in here and a scout, I might actually camp. Did the math on there exactly 4,927 possible compositions calculated with 17 classes that you can, and you can't have more than one flag in a comp. Good job. <laughs> Streamer too hydrated. Or you love that? Yeah. It's true. Man, excellent job on the math. That's crazy. Stun feels kind of good. Although stun messes up. Oh, well, I might not move it. Let's bolster. Hey, you know he's in champ. Oh, you didn't notice tears on mobs? Yeah. Yeah, they have they have names or whatever. Miss? Punish for not using command, holy crap. Okay, guess we're guarding next turn. Okay. I'm sure that gets Mark's energy, because why not? In the Warrens. Oh, it's got one HP, and it outsped me! Death waits. And it blighted me! Concentration. It's fine. Pansy getting focused down? Yeah, it's... I forgot to stress heal, so... He's just gonna get nuked. Flash can still solo dungeons with relative ease, which is funny. Yeah, he's just a nutty-ass class. Did he dodge again? Like, that was four percent. You've crit every attack so far. Pretty good. Resist, garlic. Massive garlic value. It sucks. I have to. I have to hit this thing. It's dead too. And try no, I'm gonna double guard. Let's get my product. Large corpse eaters, your worst nightmare. They suck. This enemy sucks because it can just like not do the weaken thing and it could just like try and um It can just spam devour over and over if it really wants to. And that's just like 15 damage a pop. On your list of worst mobs to face, that's a bad one. We're not sticking this blight here. Chance is too low. Any advice for Torchless? Um. Scouting's actually really good. Like, scouting just gets better because you don't have to worry as much about getting surprised because the... The surprise chance is so massive. And power. Okay. Yeah, since the surprise chance is so massive, being able to not get surprised is like half of the the fight it feels like sometimes. Slowly, gently. This is how a uh, don't is get as comfortable with Vestal. Just because, like I said, it's easier to get moved around, so having like Vestal's a reactive class. So having um, 
So having more aggressive offense is usually better. It's like higher speed, um, stuns, those get a lot better. Um, people that can heal from anywhere just in case you have to. Torchless is super restrictive. You kind of want stress healer, healer, stalling tools. That's the other thing. You have to stall. You have to stall a lot. Like in in regular, it's it's optional. It's still like efficient and helpful to do, but it's not like required. In torchless, you almost have to. It's just too easy to fall behind on stuff. Nice stun. Is that this? Sixty nine thousand six hundred thirty two party combinations. We're so close to sixty nine thousand four twenty. Maybe Red Hook intended. Torchless just zaps a lot of creativity and versatility from comps. It does. It does. It's taking fifteen. I'm just gonna heal. Healing on up. I stuck a blight. I did it. Let's try and get her some ticks. Does this one have the bleed fucking thing again? No, he doesn't. Okay. Good scout. Resisting? Oh, I better have leeches, dude. Holy shit. That's so perfect! I do. Okay, man, they just timed it. They're like, you know what? What's a great disease for a Vestal at 60 stress? Hysterical blindness? That's right, but... You should have stunned with... It's just on the uh, the butcher one. I'm not sure actually. Oh. All right, stun amulet. <laughs> it was your time, stun amulet. It's kind of worthless. It is now. When it did that crap. Let's hope if a Bone Zephyr or whatever decides to do something that we at least block it. Mm, PD. Can you... Oh, God. Can you just, like, shave off some damage here? Please, PD. Just realize the whole enemy team is stunned? Yeah. I don't think minus three works to remove those characters. Oh, I see what you're saying. Y'all are still mathing. Mathing so hard. You can slap this dude, I think. 
Who am I afraid of getting hit, Petey? Sorry, no, you're good. You don't have to apologize. I mean, you guys are, you're mathing. It's cool. I respect the hell out of it. Medium mission almost cost your Vestal death from stress. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Getting to the boss with the man in arms is such a hassle. Yeah, he's so slow. It's like a freaking... Four to seven. I'm doing 13. I just have to hit it. He's such a slow character. He's just so good, but he's so fucking slow. You're just taking someone that, like... He's proactive in the way that you can set up his buffs ahead of time and do stuff, which is really good. But they don't they don't translate into enough value a lot of times. Because uh, if he's just sitting here buffing and guarding every turn, he has to do enough damage to make up for like a, a another character. You know, like I'm hitting for three and stunning and all that, which is nice, but he's not, I don't know, like another character to be worth what, like 10 damage a turn, eight damage, something like that. And he's not delivering on that. You have to repost. No scouting. We actually don't need the other torch stack. Barrel? Oh, goodness. Man Arms is just a burly antiquarian with better camp skills. How's that for a hot take? It's kind of close. I don't know. He keeps you alive. Antiquarian just exists. Why set up the other part? Why set up the other party when I can just bring Hyman Man or BH and just let them kill the enemies? Yeah, pretty much. Crush isn't actually that bad if it crits. Yeah, his damage range is just so crappy these days. I remember you got garlic once from a trinket scrounge. That's pretty hot. Ew. I don't know what this is about. But I'm frightened. I feel like Bolster just gets immediate value every time. <laughs> like, Bolster, and we dodge. Impressive. I don't think an Aquarian has once given you anything higher than a blue trinket. I don't know what the chance is, but she can, uh, you know, she can give you the, the orange. Just weird when it happens, you're like, oh, cool. It's not worth hitting that one dude. Stunning. I mean, at worst, it's like, you trinket scrounge and like the very lowest possible value is, uh, what, seven? 750? It's not bad. Like, would you press a camp skill that gives you 750 gold? I would. When am I going back into the CC? Whenever it decides to give me infestation. It hasn't given me anything yet. So we're just leveling people, getting ready. It's weird, I did worse on this file than my other two Blood Moon files. It's, it's very strange. Like, I had to retreat more times, I had more deaths, I had, uh... I'm taking longer to do everything. Ten... Just hit him. You have a 750 gold when you have an antiquarian is poop. Yeah. Infestation is funny because it stays at low for so long and then it just ramps up to high in no time. Yeah, it's on low for like... 
God, dude, I hate this. F this is replacing Skyver for my most hated enemy in this place. I hate this thing so much. Like, it always crits. It always, like, hard targets Vestal. I know she has more stress. And it's such a thick piece of pork to get through. You know I'm throwing for content? Good. My say is a thick, veiny sausage put into three different messages for emphasis, yes. This is where the sausage is made. Right here. More so, good trinket can make him stake go fast or stake go far better. And there's a really funny exploit with it, where you retreat and don't pass the week and go and camp again for trinket scrounge unlimited money. Yeah. Oh, good scout. That's good enough for me. A spark without kindling is a goal. I need my leeches. Sure. Vessel stressed up. Yeah, I'm, she's a liability right now. Oh, here comes that fatty skull toss, or the 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 worries. Still have to kill these first. I feel like we're gonna try and have PD like do something here. Alright, PD, slow it down. Skull toss crit into affliction. We got lucky in high rolled speed. But otherwise, yeah. That was a frightening expectation. Kinda wish I had disorienting. Can I stick the blight? I can! Man, it's playing so smart. It's like, you know what? We can't... We can't get her with, uh... The Skull Toss, so I'm gonna use my, my group attack. Which is also a bunch of stress damage. <laughs> am I stunning? I am stunning. Especially now. I should've brought Laudanum. I didn't think I'd need it. This math is still going. It's crazy. Command, damage up on Vestal. It's 19. Gotta do 12 more damage. That's four. Should you move to DMs? No, you're good. You're fine. Y'all are chatting in Twitch. I'm all about that. Including mod classes. Math resident sleeper. The ghoul, but every time it howls, it screams ooh. <laughs> Where are you, modders? It's time. We're gonna do this to get some prod up. And go into the fight with a, a stack of prod. Size alone does not the sharp I'm not gonna ban you for that. I thought it was hilarious. I think we... The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Flesh is quick. I was hoping these two would be fast enough to where I could hit it after. Oh, you're fucking right. Jeez Louise! Hold on, that can cleave? <laughs> oh shit! Ooh, Ooh buddy. <laughs> a 
Okay, I take it back. The assholes are the, the worst. They are the worst, 100%. Only cleaves on champion? Is the on-hit damage ever worth more than the cleave damage? I don't think it is. This is 30 points in cleave. This is... 18 plus 5. No, it's, it's worse. Um... Missing Hounds, Harry, and Impale. We'll hope this is enough. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. This game wants me to call it the hardest boss. A momentary abatement. Wow, group heal is better both times. Interesting. Let's go. Oh no. Good resist. Good resist. It's probably gonna crit me. Yeah. Vision. The end approaches. Definitely using some exang here. Flag has ten speed. That might be enough to beat these at least <clears throat> just a few more turns and the dom will be crippling yeah we just have to live to like turn five turn six you know stun the asshole game's being nice and spreading out its damage right now This is bad. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. <sighs> I gotta group heal him. A death denied. For now. I need a chance to bolster because I got fucking stunned. No, don't jinx it. It's not the flesh losing in you. It's not happening. It's not happening. The one thing I hate about this boss, I can't see the turn markers. I know one of these is gone. I don't know if this one's gone. Bolster feels so greedy. Got no damage on it? We're fine. We're fine. Yes, we're up to quite a bit of damage here. Just no crit heals. Flesh and no Houndmaster. Maybe I should have. Also, you like how you can't see its turn order? Kind of makes you feel like you have no idea what it's doing. Yeah. It's true. More value to spread out the dot? It is. I have to go for it again. such a weak heal, but it's such a strong bleed. I'd like to exang that thing. It's kind of a breather round. I think we stun? He's our last stun here. Yeah. 
My group heal. I kind of want to zap the, the heart directly here. I have a pretty good chance to miss, so I'm not doing that. Pale has high base damage and the flesh has lower blade resist. Yeah, Pale and Hound's Harry are great. Like, you can just annihilate this boss for sure, but it's just what I decide to take. PD Houndmaster, double SB. Man, y'all are... Y'all are nuts. Go for that high damage. You know it's a challenge? I wouldn't call it a challenge. <laughs> just played it differently. A momentary... I'm even scared to let Flage hit, like, low HP right now. That one resist kind of sucks a lot. Guard it for one round. Dropping a rain of blood into buttholes. Herring and Pale make it less risky, but it's still got the chance to mess you up. Yeah, if it opens for a crit, like, asshole tentacle for 23 and 26, it does. I should have used the um, holy water there. That was a mistake. I mean, it's a turn six. Crit for 12 is not the same as just doing 12. Elastic Sang going out. Got my wish. I got to punch a heart. I'm going to rip this thing out and make it my, uh, my trinket. Good heal, though? Yeah. Good resists. Yeah, I'm lucky with these heart heart placements too. You have to combo dots and stuns. Dots always let damage from enemies pour in, so you have to stall with dot strat. I think we I think we made it. I think we have enough damage between these. It's almost worth helping it along, honestly. Oh, this thing has low stun resist. Okay. Alright, I think that did it for us. I'm gonna do this to be safe. Can live at least one hit? Yeah. Let's do this anyway. Max damage, especially because they haven't taken their turns yet. Woo, buddy! Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Your YouTube content? I'm sorry. 33, hell yeah. As it was in life. Good thing about the flesh is buttholes and heads can't mix targets, true. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Um. Oh no, we eat these. No curio. We out. Got the best boss trophy. I'd say it's the best. It's a good one. Cove Explorer. Precise Striker gone. No. No more Incision Vestal. Or not Vestal. Incision PD. Incision. I can't even say the word. Incision. Alright, who do we have? Why not? still at the end best in slot flash trinket true <sighs> all right chat that's it for me it's friday i'll take off a little early hope you all had fun i'll probably i'm gonna try and be back monday unless something happens i have to go to dmv i'm gonna try and go in the mornings but you guys are fantastic Join Discord if you haven't. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, I'm. If I if I don't go anywhere tomorrow, I'll stream tomorrow. So, we'll see though. Like ten percent, ten percent chance of stream tomorrow, but definitely Monday. I'll see you guys later.